Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, got some more updates for you. Hey, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, Dario's uh, Lamborghini Aventador. Um, I learned a lot of things from him. Um, it's great having a community where we can learn from each other. So uh, I've got some things that I'm trying out uh, that he suggested and I think vice versa. But uh, yeah, I can't wait until he's He's going to smoke me on getting his done. <laughs> He's moving so fast. But anyway, we're just trying to, you know, take it easy, get it done right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've been doing. So back on the hood, um, I've done a bunch of block sanding. Um, and we've basically sharpened up the lines. Um, I've trying to fix uh, pinholes as we go along. Uh, we got some places where some of the fabric may be showing through, and I don't want that to show through the paint, so we'll uh, cover those up. But as you can see, I hopefully you can, we've got these nice straight lines. They're equidistant. Um, the ridge line is presumably going down straight. We won't know until we prime it. But, yeah, so... Oh, and then um, I did spend a lot of time in contouring these holes um, so they actually don't look like janky crap because um, it was just bugging me. Even though they'd be covered up, I'd know they were there. So um, anyway, uh, it'll also give a good platform for when we put the screws in and bolt the uh, latches down. Um, still, uh, we're going to still have a... Uh, hinge system on this. These are just for extra safety. We'll have a latch on the front uh, as well, so it'll work as a normal hood. And then I also have kind of dressed up the vents here, even though those are going to get covered up by uh, 3D printed uh, vents. So I haven't really decided on what I'm going to do, if I'm going to stick with the old ones, which have the hexagons on them, or if I'm going to do something a little different, more like louvers. But anyway, we'll see. Uh, they're not technically functional at this point. Uh, they're not taking heat away from anything, but they may eventually take heat away from the uh, air conditioning condenser. So we'll see about that. A little more sanding and got out the paint gun and hit it with some uh, primer surfacer. <clears throat> so looks like I got it relatively straight. Um, pretty happy with the results. Some details need to be handled, like that channel right there, as you can see. But, uh, and that one, probably. So a little bit of sanding there. But, you know, a little more block sanding. Get those shapes so that they're nice and smooth. But all in all, I think it's looking all right. Okay, back in here, we've uh, done the uh, uh, kind of Frenching in of the uh, these little, uh, I guess, uh, trim vents uh, on here and um, shaped up some of the uh, profiles and filled in some of the uh, holes and whatnot. So those still got to get sanded. We've made our cut along here so that when I break these two panels apart, there'll actually be a seam line that'll run straight down here. And then I'll further develop this line here. So it'll come down to a point and then arc back in, um, like you see it is right now, but it'll fit really well with this kind of flat part of the quarter panel and then just transition down. And I think it's turned out really nice. It's uh, still gotta be block sanded, but it's getting there so as we move for back to the back that's when we'll start developing those things the next thing is going to be um, the fenders so after we get the hood uh, shot with primer we'll move on to the fenders i'm going to wait and shoot color on the entire car um, back here we've been 
Um, again, adjusting, you can see the uh, trim, scoop trim here, getting this uh, line straight. And then also we'll be developing it so that there's a gap here, just like this nice thin gap here. And then down here, we're basically uh, glassing in an area so that we have the same transition as we do on the other side. And we've also mounted these to these uh, inner quarter panels. And so this will be further uh, developed and smoothed out. I think I'm gonna keep the edge here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, the other option is to put a 3D printed part in here that maybe uh, looks a little different. I don't know. So sky's the limit with 3D printing. So hopefully that'll work well. Uh, we cut on this side as well. This is our cut line. And then uh, again, we've developed this with the same contours as the other side. Well guys, um, that's it for today. Um, turned out to be a pretty nice day here. It's still a little cool, but at least the sun's out. So uh, it's a lot warmer in the sun than it is in the shade. Um, almost feels like it's 70 degrees out in the sun. So anyway, I uh, hope you liked uh, everything you saw here. Uh, it's always good to make progress and uh, actually paint something even though it's just primer <laughs> and surfacer, but uh, it'll allow us to block sand this down. I'll do the top and then I'll primer the back and then we'll do the back and then uh, we'll work on getting it uh, mounted in the car. So we'll have to take out the fuel tank and, and uh, get in the uh, hinges and adjust everything so it all fits. And then once I get that working, get the latch on, all that kind of stuff, um, then we'll go ahead and uh, take off the fenders and start cranking on those. So anyway, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And uh, we'll see you next time.